what is up guys this is Tato back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest 19 June 2019 build of the Siberia OS built by Rashid on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is the 2.6 version I think let me show you the about section quickly over here and as you can see the Siberia version is version 2.6 Android 9 here is the stock kernel version it is the pure CF kernel and you can check out the build numbers and stuff from i think over here only the 19 june 2019 build you can see from here and the security patch is of latest june 5th 2019 and the most good thing about this rom is this is based on the pi firmware the first build of the siberia rom which is based on the pi firmware is this one so how is the rom holding up and i have been using this rom from like couple of days now like two to three days and i'll tell you what else like is good in this rom and what things i miss over here so here is how the quick setting panel looks like and the rom is really really smooth no issues whatsoever as you can see we have the night light and stuff as you can see we also have the live display too so let me just go into the settings and show you if i go into the display settings here as you can see we have the night light option and we also have the live display you can change the color profile to these many options and you can enable the reading mode to change the display like grayscale and stuff like that and we have the color calibration like rgb you can totally control the full screen rgb and you can adjust the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen so let me just go back from here and we also have the ambient display and always on display for the ambient display is there you don't need to worry and regarding the fonts well there are plenty of fonts over here as you can see we have a lot of options including google sans and others too so you can use like bunch of fonts whatever you want and also we have the system UI themes like light dark black and siberia so pretty good like options for the themes and you can change the like system accent color over here as you can see we have these many accent colors and regarding the quick setting toggle styles you can choose between these many options and it looks pretty good we have the switch appearance you can change the switch appearance to like oneplus material design 2 or even default and you can change this like dashboard condition and stuff like that and also we have other customization in siberia settings and first of all let me show you the like sound settings over here we do have the me audio direct over here as you can see me sound enhancer it says and you can choose like whatever headphones you have and the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well over here is pretty good over here you can't complain regarding the sound quality over here in this rom and if you go into the security and lock screen here we have the automatically unlock device when face is recognized so auto face unlock is working fine i have flashed micro gears by the way so the face unlock stuff is working super fine but one thing i miss regarding the unlocking and stuff i'll tell you about that later on in this video so let's go to the siberia settings here we have the customizations there are plenty of customizations let me show you one by one if you go into the general tweaks you can change the screen of animation to crt or scale recent panel you can change it to pi or audio looking and the corner values you can change it to and the screen stabilization is there let me just go into the animations we have the whole screen ui animation changing option you can change the list view animation to like whatever you want like wave left wave right or it is set to default by the way and you can like change these toast animations too if you want to so the whole screen animations are customizable and if you go into the buttons we have the volume rocker customization and the haptic action and stuff like that and we have the privacy guard alarm blocker with lock blocker and over here we have the aggressive battery so this is like to save the battery of course and over here if you go into the sound settings we have the audio panel let me show you the volume panel here is how it looks like you can expand it by just tapping on this arrow as you can see so pretty useful stuff and you can also enable the notification voice bluetooth etc volume controls if you want to and over here we have the gaming mode so if you are like playing pubg or something like that it will block the notification out in terms of this gaming mode and you can add the apps whatever like games you have you can add it manually or it will be like it can be detected automatically too and if you go into the dialer we have the in call vibration options and pulse notification like pulse flashlight on incoming call is there like me why so that is really good let me just go back into panels we have the status bar options and status bar item we have the like status bar icons over here you can disable the siberia logo if you want to and headset hotspot bluetooth etc icons are there and in terms of wall icon it shows the hd icon up there as you can see from here 
and the quality calls does work super fine and in the in call UI you do get the call recording and video calling option too so you don't need to worry about those and brightness control network traffic etc are there so you can just control the brightness by just swiping on the status bar as you can see from here this feature is really cool and i really need it so this is pretty convenient rom for me at least and as you can see over here we have the date and like clock customizations over here like this clock customization you can do whatever you want with that and network activity you can like auto hide the threshold like change the auto hide threshold over here and volt view wi-fi icon is there 4g icon is there so that is all regarding the status bar icons and in terms of navigation bar well if you go into the nav bar buttons you can invert the layout as you can see the back button is to the right side right now so the navigation bar is working fine and inside notifications we have the heads up disabling option and also we have the like normal notification customizations like vibrate on toggle touch i think is there in the quick settings panel and we also have the animation style of the quick settings panels and you can change it to flip or rotate and if you go to the lock screen we have the lock screen shortcuts you can change the shortcuts if you want to and fingerprint authentication vibration is there fingerprint error vibration is there now again one thing i miss is always unlock or force fingerprint unlock option that is simply not here so force fingerprint unlock option is that like whenever you reboot you can just unlock the screen with the fingerprint scanner by just just tapping on the fingerprint scanner with your like assigned fingerprint so that simply not exist over here and i really miss that feature like to be honest so that is how it is but not gonna lie that I do miss that feature of the always unlock with fingerprint scanner. If that was here, it, this ROM will be like perfect for me at least. But no ROM is perfect for everybody so you gotta choose on that. And over here we have the clock widget and stuff like that in the lock screen. And you can change the clock style to Android Q text style over here as you can see. And this really like looks pretty great. Let me show you the lock screen quickly. This is how the lock screen looks like. In my opinion, this looks pretty dope that like we have the android q style lock screen over here let me just go back from here and we have the battery settings so battery charging light is there as you can see you can enable the battery light or the notification led and if you go to the battery icon we do have the android q style battery icon and if you look closely that we have the android q style battery icon over here and you can change the percentage position too if you want to like to the left or right and let me go back in terms of gestures we have everything like the swipe to take screenshot it does not scroll so that is really good and we also have the edge gestures this really like works fine the edge navigation gestures and the normal navigation gestures are there too like oneplus and and we also have the pi navigation control too and double tap to sleep on the status bar and the lock screen as well is there and long press power button toggle torch is there too now let's talk about the stock launcher over here this is the launcher launcher and let me just like do this if you notice that we have like pretty smooth animations over here no issues whatsoever and to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the notification panel and if you just double tap on the home screen anywhere it will just lock the screen so here is a few minutes scanner speed over here on this rom As you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is not the fastest but it is pretty decent i would say over here as you can see and if you just go into the settings this is how the launcher settings looks like pretty good amount of customizations is there and if you go into the double tap gesture you can set it to sleep and it will be fine to like double tap to sleep and a lot of customizations on this launcher is there and if you talk about the stock camera over here we have the miui camera up here as the default camera like pre-installed but you can also install google cameras if you want to if you want to do that i'll leave the direct link of the google cameras in the description box below you don't need to worry about installing them because like camera to api is pre-enabled over here in this rom and talking about google pay or banking apps is working fine over here in this rom like super fine out of the box the, the banking app should be working you do not need to worry and let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management over here let's open facebook now twitter and talking about the battery life well the battery life is really good over here i have been getting about like seven to seven and a half hours of screen on time with this so no huge issues regarding the battery life at all the battery life should be pretty good for most people so as you can see all the apps are in memory i think over here and the app open up animations are pretty fine as you can see the it does the android pie kind of app, app open up animations and it looks really really good 
you can switch between apps just like this as you can see it is pretty fast no issues whatsoever and if you go into system we also have the like updater over here you can check for system updates from here and as this is like on the pi firmware you need the pi firmware twrp if you don't know what i am talking about here is a card for you so that is pretty much it guys regarding the Siberia OS based on like Android Pi 19 June 2019 built by Rashid. So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from the KTN Deck and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.